Well, we've made it through four weeks of watching Velma, and it's safe to say that the show most certainly didn't live up to expectations. We've witnessed an elongated story that involved remakes of characters that everybody remembers from their childhood, and it put them in a world that was so poorly written it had no sense of identity at all. It feels like the show's just happened, and that's it. But anyway, the trailer for the season finale has recently been released and I thought I'd break it down and explain what it looks like is going to happen, and why it doesn't look like the show is going to get any better of an ending. So let's get into it. Here is why the Velma season finale trailer looks trash. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. Let's start by breaking down the trailer. So the trailer opens up with Velma, Daphne, Fred, Norville, and pretty much all of the main characters that we've seen in the first season of the show apart from Gigi entering a hospital ward at the Crystal Cove Hospital. It's quite clear that we're going to see them going to speak with Velma's mother and visit her following her appearance in episode 8 of the show. It also seems as though Norville and Gigi could be broken up due to her absence. We were then given the first poorly written joke and it took all of 4 seconds to get it. Velma told her mother that she had amnesia, and Velma's mother responded with, Oh, is that what the doctor said? This joke alone shows us the type of season finale that we're going to get if this is what was given to us in the first four seconds of the trailer. The next piece of dialogue that we had was focused on setting up the plot for the final part of the season. Norville's father implied that if Dia's memories didn't return in 72 hours, then they'd be gone forever. The show needed to inject something into it to make it feel like there was actually something at stake instead of just the killer, so it seems as though the final two episodes are going to be over a 72-hour period, where they're going to be hoping that Dia's memories return so she can identify who the killer is and also how she ended up trapped in the cave for multiple years. After this, we then had the next gag of the trailer, where we all saw them respond by saying, Gone forever? But then Fred came out from the background and said it in a delayed fashion and then asked if they could all do it again and apologised. Something that just didn't come across as funny at all. The next shot that we had was of Dia returning to her home with Velma's father walking her into the house. In the background, in a split second, we witnessed Velma's father's new partner sneaking out the back with their newborn child. This could be for a number of different reasons. Either she could be up to something and be behind what's been going on with the killing of these girls, which personally, I don't think's the case, or they could be setting up the house and making it like what it was like before so that Dia can try to remember everything about the night that she went missing, so it may only be for 72 hours. But something that makes me think otherwise is the fact that we do go on to see the baby in a shot later on down the line next to Velma's mother. As we moved on to the next shot, we had the doctor speaking a line in the background, saying, if you can keep Dia happy, then her memory should come back within that time frame. After this, Velma then had a line saying, that's a lot of lying. So it seems as though Velma is going to be painting herself out to be somebody that she's not in this episode, along with her father doing the same, as he already looked unhappy from the early moments. After this, it then looked as though we were going to see the story focus more on what the original plot was, and that is finding out who the killer is that's been stealing the brains. It looks as though we're going to get flashbacks to the night that Velma's mother went missing due to seeing her drop down and taking photos. However, I feel we're not going to find out if Dia remembers anything until right down to the wire. This is due to a line that Velma said when she uttered, I'm running out of time for my mum to remember who the serial killer is. With Velma going back to her murder board, it looks like she could well be taking things back into her own hands and continuing on with her detective work. This seems like there's going to be one good moment in the finale, and that's because it seemed like Norville was going to be declining Velma for the first time and not helping her, giving her a taste of her own medicine. She's used Norville throughout the entirety of the season, and for some reason, he still had feelings for her in the closing moments of episode 8. So with Daphne saying Velma needs us and Norville looking away, it looks like he might finally be putting his foot down, thankfully. The love arc of Daphne and Velma seems as though it's going to continue on. However, at this point, it doesn't even feel like there's a connection between them and they're just doing it for the sake of doing it almost. We've seen Velma neglect Daphne in her time of need and at many other points throughout the season, just like she'd been doing with Norville. So I don't know one, how Daphne can still want to be with her, and two, how Velma even likes Daphne because she certainly doesn't show it. After this, we then saw a shot of Velma face to face with the killer, so it looks as though her detective work could be the very thing that solves the case and not her mother's memory coming back. 
We also had a shot contrasting the one of Velma and Daphne kissing with one of them fighting in the streets, so it does make me wonder what that's going to be about. Over this being shown to us, we had a moment where Velma uttered the line, the real mystery was just starting, showing us that I imagine what we're going to see in the season finale could potentially roll into season two, or it could just highlight that maybe there was a clue that was pointing to somebody that she was close with being involved in the case. This was then followed by a shot of Fred looking angry and also in the same location as where the serial killer was. You can see this by the bottles being on the shelf, so could this be pointing towards it being Fred's father? And that could be why Fred is being so protective in this final moment. And then the last thing that we saw was a Vilma's younger sister rolling away in the road with her chasing after her filtering between the cars. And then that was it. The last thing we'll see before the season finale. If I'm being honest, the trailer doesn't seem that great. They've added a countdown into the episode, so it feels as though we're building towards a moment and that tension can be applied. It would work if the story didn't feel so underwhelming already. There were a few suspects, Velma's mother, Norville's mother, or Fred's father. That's what I think anyway. And the thing is, even if it isn't any of them, it won't make the show any better or feel like a satisfying twist. The humour that doesn't really have an identity or much intelligence behind it seems as though it's going to be making an appearance in the season finale again and the hallucination style animation looks as though it won't be appearing either, which I think is a real shame. The show has been very underwhelming, and it doesn't look as though the season finale will be any different to what we've been given so far. The conclusion to the story seems like it could be relatively basic, lack the depth required to make it feel like there's a twist coming, and as well, everything that's made up the makeup of the characters that we've come to dislike will still be present, other than the fact that maybe Norville will stand up to Velma. But even then, it's too little too late. I'm intrigued to see how the story is going to finish and mark an end to watching the worst animated TV show in history. What a title the show has earned. So, there you have it. Why the Velma season finale trailer looks trash. If you want to see more videos such as Endings Explained, Theories and Predictions, and Character Breakdowns, then click on the i button. Or alternatively, you can head over to my channel where you'll find them all. If you'd like to give me a show or movie that you'd like me to review, then head over to my Twitter, at BrainPilot underscore, and tweet me what show or movie you'd like me to review next. And finally, if you'd like to see what I rate the latest movies that don't quite make the cut to getting a dedicated video, then head over to my Letterboxd profile. It's where I rate the latest releases in real time. What do you think is going to happen? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.